Hey y'all, I'm Rick Sky here, and if you're like me and you fiddled around with uh, Google Home, you know, you're automating your home, maybe you're adding Nest cameras, maybe you're adding Chromecast, a doorbell, all kinds of cool stuff, and you want to add other people to your Google Home so that they can load their Google Home app on their phone and control your home, you may have encountered an issue. And if you try to add them, it's an error message, and I'll flash that error message up right now. But if you're getting that error message, there's a good possibility that you're part of what's called Google's Advanced Protection Program. Now what Google's Advanced Protection Program is at a high level, it's, it's not two-factor two where you've got you to log in and then they text your cell phone a code and it lets you log in. It's a step beyond that. You use a physical key and that enables you to log into your Google account. So if you've enabled that, if you've enabled Google Advanced Protection Program, you log in with a key, then it's unfortunately not going to work. So I contacted Google. I got on the uh, on the chat with their support, and they confirmed that at least at this point in time, this point in time being the first part of March, 2019, that if you're a Google Advanced Protection Program member, you cannot add additional people to your Google Home. Now the good news is, if you're like me and you're just wanting to add family members and enable them to go in and use your Chromecast and that sort of stuff. Chromecast should work without requiring people to be added to your Google Home. So they, it should be as simple as them being able to cast to your, uh, to your Chromecast device or devices in your home. And they want, at least at this point in time, they shouldn't have to be part of your Google Home. So if you've run into that, you know, don't panic. Obviously the fix, or I guess we'll have to call it a workaround, the workaround would be to create another account and not use the, uh, the Google Advanced Protection Program. The other option would be to log into your Google account and disable your Google Advanced Protection Program. Now obviously the disadvantage to that is that you would then be making your uh, primary Google account, or I'm saying it's probably your primary Google account, um, you're, you're gonna be making it a lot less secure because you're not gonna have the, the third factor, the, uh, the physical key. So you know that's completely up to you, a uh, matter of your security concerns personally i love using google advanced protection program because it may better harden uh, access to the uh, to the google account but i hope this video helped if it did please subscribe to my channel and when you do ring that bell icon to be notified whenever i post another video and also if you want to feel free to support my channel you can expand this video's description and you can find my link there to patreon i rick sky on patreon completely optional but if this provided value and you want to support my channel, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated, rather. I am an independent YouTuber, so all of your support really helps. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. I, Rick Sky here. Thanks again for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. If you're looking for uh, Iron Sky's Adventure Channel merch, like this t-shirt, and a lot of other cool stuff, expand this video's description. You can find it all there. Y'all have a good day.